in Europe this season, Vitesse Arnhem, who had won the first leg, of course, by a goal to nil. Scotland's most experienced European campaigner, Dave Neri, played his 75th tie against continental opposition tonight. That's a magnificent record. And leading the Dutch attempt to spoil Big Dave's night was the former Ipswich midfielder, Franz Tyson, who's now just two months short of his 39th birthday. The commentator is Tony Gubba. The referee, Mr. Bernd Heinemann, and the two officials both come from, well, it was East Germany, it's now, of course, unified Germany. And it's certain that the Dutch will try to defend the one-goal lead that they have from the first leg as long as possible. Two was Sterling, and this will go back to Van der Klau. That's Boss, number four, plays in the centre of defence. Not a very tall player. A tremendous shot on him and really powerful. Tremendous difference between the European pedigree of these two sides. It's all new territory for Vitesse and they're united in their 14th consecutive season of European competition. Seven locking it on was Van de Brom and Dundee United will have to clear here. Tackled by Cleland, 19 years of age. He's uh, 20 next month. Certainly Dundee United wouldn't want to concede a goal. And Bert Jacobs, the uh, Vitesse manager, was saying that his team would defend. And they've left a few spaces here. Good run followed by McKinley. And the header out. This is French in possession. Good support. Space here for the cross. Oh, that came off the head of the Dundee United player. The first threat on goal. Good cross. But always going well wide. Made it his. French. Cross was blocked by Stirring, and the whistle's gone. Free kick given to Vitesse. That's a good long kick by Flau. And at the moment, Dundee United not finding a lot of space. There might be some here now. The Malpass. McInally. Got a really shot to test uh, Van der Flau, who hasn't yet conceded a goal in this UEFA competition. But at least Dundee United getting the ball on target and that came off the referee, rather unfortunate Hilgus reacted quickest and just no space in which he could turn Hilgus, Van Arden Latuharu Van der Brom Stirring, Tyson surrounded by a posse of the four Dundee United players and this is Boss and the referee Mr Heinemann had a rather uh, disconcerting half an hour before the kickoff when the lights failed in the dressing rooms which delayed the kickoff for 15 minutes oh, when the chance here that came off the defender oh he's gone in An own goal, that'll have to go down as Van der Brom shot that came off him. Van der Horn, rather. And number nine, Latuharu, has put Vitesse 2-0 up and Dundee United have a mountain to climb, but what an unfortunate goal to concede.
Well, Dundee United will be shell-shocked. But that wasn't the first time that Vitesse have threatened at the back. And there he wants to take this free kick quickly. McAnally has gone over to him. And Dundee United would dearly love to make a reply as quickly as possible. It's too close to the keeper and easily dealt with. But that must be the most unfortunate goal that Dundee United have ever conceded. As Van den Horn had slipped as he tried to get to his feet, it hit his back and completely wrong-footed Alan Main, who had no chance. And that's the size of the task facing Dundee United. Got to score three. McKinley. Malpass. French is too close to him. Jackson. Has he made space for a good cross? He has. That's a line and header on target, but no power. Did well out wide on the left there, Darren Jackson, and a good cross to find his number nine, Patalainen. Easy for the keeper. Even if they get a goal, Dundee United, they'll have to score two more to go through to the third round. And with uh, a little over ten minutes to go to half-time, that prospect at the moment looks beyond them. Paul Sturrock on his feet at the side. There's lots of advice coming from the touchline and from the terraces. The only instruction really for Dundee United is to get forward and to get the ball into the test penalty area. forward the right back again the cross is dealt with McKinley Van Arden and the Bruyne that went out of play it'll be a throw to Dundee United three German officials And the horn. Forward by McKinley. Header down was by Patalainen. Yeah, he's facing the wrong way. And he just didn't get a real opportunity to tee that up for anybody. Freak it. Lenny Ayer scored the goal in the first leg. I'm sure that number nine Latahara will claim the goal here tonight, although it must surely go down as an own goal by Van der Horn. Latahara. Tyson. Van Brom. Intended for. Pilgers, who's now gone out to play down the, the right. And Latu Heru, who started there, has now come over more to this left side. Hilgers. McKinley. This is Neri. And the horn, and Neri. Malpass watched by Lamas and now stirring Latahari happy just to kick that into the Dundee United half Van der Horn Cleland Jackson was uh, just 
just brushed aside, wasn't he? Van den Brom and uh, Hulgers had just got offside. Scored a sensational goal in the league at the weekend, apparently, this man, Van den Brom, which is tipped as the Dutch goal of the season. Oh, good ball. Great ball to pick out Ayers. He's got a clear run on main here. Lataharu, this will be number three, is it? It's 2-0 on the night, it's 3-0 on aggregate, and Dundee United are surely on their way out of the UEFA Cup, and they were torn apart right down the middle. The travelling Dutch support, surely confident now that they're in the draw for the third round. And Dundee United were really pulled ragged. It was a good break by Ayer after he'd been found by Van den Brom. There's number nine, Lataharu, to beat Maine. 2-0 Vitesse, 3-0 on aggregate. Look at the space that he's got to run into there. And uh, Lataharu, who'd gone out wide to the right. Oh, yeah. Yes, they're beginning to turn it on, aren't they? Powerful shot was blocked, and that was... Ricky Hilders. <laughs> Neri. McKinley. Wants people to come towards him. Malpass. There it. Oh, they've given it away. Van den Brom. Straal. Lamas. Tyson. Oh, it's, it's a pleasure to watch, but not if you support Dundee United. Lataharu. Did he keep it in play? Yes, he did. Higher, and that's a great cross. Brushed through the fingertips of Alan Main. Fine cross by number eight, René Higher. McKinley. McKinley again. Jackson. This is French. Cannon's got outside him. That's a good shot, and probably the strongest shot that Dundee United have got on the target in this first half. Hit by number 11, Hamish French. Former Highland League player, whose career has been hampered by injuries. But look at that beautiful cross that had the Dundee United keeper, Alan Main, stretching all the way. And Dundee United, fortunate there was nobody behind him. Jackson. Looks determined. Took quite a tackle there from Boss. The play waved on. Pataline. McKinley. Pataline. Struggling to keep it in play. Jackson. Keeper punched away. Now, are they going to get caught by another quick break? This is Van Arden. Higher. Hilders, Van den Brom, Tyson, and the whistle that signals half time also signals a bit of respite for Dundee United, who must be really shell shocked to find themselves 2 0 down against Vitesse Arnhem of Holland. But it's a mountain for Dundee United to climb in the second half, they'll need to score four goals to go through to the third round. Right. So Dundee United start the second half and both teams have made substitutes in the half-time. Dundee United have sent on the, the number 14, Christian Daly. There he is, only two weeks past his 17th birthday, which means he is now the youngest player at Dundee United to play in European competition. A 
And just looking around, Vitesse have also made a substitution. Number 12, Vermoulin has come on. I think he's replaced number two, Edward Stirring, who looked to be struggling in the first half. Katalainen, followed by Strahl. Throw to Dundee United, who understandably are in a hurry because they need to score four. Malpass. Good left foot cross. Lamas. Into Dundee United's half. Where Vitesse didn't have a player. Krubakapic. Now, this is Christian Daly, the youngster. Can he make a big contribution? Good ball in. Malpass. Out wide to Daly again. Whistle's gone. And the referee jogs over. Looks like a free kick to Vitesse. Well, he's a powerful young player. Played almost 150 games last season. Daly, that's Cleland, the right back. Christian Daly has replaced Neri. Played 150 games last season. And the youngest ever player capped by Scotland at under 21 level when he was only 16. And what a task he's got on his young shoulders now. Malpass. It's given the crowd something to warm their hands about. McKinley. Too long again for Patalain and Malpass has sneaked in. More. Oh, was it a penalty? Yes, it was. Malpass was pulled down. Roberto Strahl, the number five, pulled down Dundee United's captain. And uh, the German official, Bernd Heinemann, explaining to Boss and Franz Tyson, but surely there can't be any doubt. Malpass who nicked it away and was brought down. So, Patalainen against Harau and Vitesse haven't yet conceded a UEFA goal and they still haven't and that was a dreadful penalty. Well, he looks disgusted and so he should. Dundee United have come out for the second half, all fired up. Malpass winning the penalty that would have given them at least a glimmer. Well, there's less than 30 minutes to play now in this second leg, UEFA Cup tie. And still no glimmer of Dundee United finding a way back. Full kick to Vitesse. Boss is down. Well, the uncharitable among the crowd suspect that he's wasting time requiring treatment. That's Tim McAnally who's uh, having treatment at the side. Despite the crowd's doubts, number four Theo Boss is having to leave the field and he's too tough a character, believe me, to go off unless it was absolutely necessary. And for the moment, Vitesse don't send on a substitute. Contempt to play with ten men. Mataharu. Oh, he just stepped inside Malpass. 
now faced by Van der Hall, and that was a good strong tackle, and it's another penalty. Well, I wonder if they'll let Lataharu take this. He's certainly earned his corn tonight, hasn't he? Two goals. And that little jinking run, he just stepped around Maurice Malpass, and when Van der Horn stepped in for the tackle, he fell over his outstretched leg, and it's a penalty. John Van den Brom very carefully placing the ball on the spot. And beats Alan Main. It's 3-0 to Vitesse. It's 4-0 on aggregate. And it's an absolute disaster night for Dundee United. Who've never previously lost a European tie at home by more than the odd goal. But they're 3-0 down to a really impressive Dutch side. Well, if this really is a second-string Dutch side, they talk about uh, PSV and Ajax being the big clubs in Holland. Don't be in any doubt there's some quality players on the field here, and for the sort of money that they could be picked up for, one or two managers in England and Scotland might look at one or two of these players, particularly number seven, Van den Brom. Well, they don't want to play it around at the back too much, because if they get dispossessed, it'll be goal number four. Connolly. Daly holding off his man. Just clipped to Dutch players' heels. Now Connolly. We've got plenty forward under United. French. Well, the crowd appealed for another penalty. French seemed as though he wanted to walk that through the penalty area. This is Lataharu, who's brought down from behind by McKinley free kick it looks like Van den Brom who's shaping up to hit this one leaves it for Aya goal and what a tremendous display by Vitesse Arnhem Rennie Ayer hit that left foot and the crowd was stunned it couldn't have gone into that top corner more precisely Van den Brom ran over the ball number eight Rennie Ayer hit it and it absolutely flew in off the post 4-0 Vitesse Arnhem and this is a tragic night for Dundee United and a humiliating one for Scottish football because they've been torn to pieces by what was regarded as a second-class Dutch side. Connolly. Finally a chance. Now they must score now, surely. No, they haven't. Daly missed it this time. Oh, they missed that as well. You feel as though there's the hand of fate on this game that says Dundee United will not only lose, they won't score. They were queuing up for chances. Christian Daly, the 17-year-old, his shot was blocked. Then it hit the keeper. Then it was the other substitute, Connolly. And finally it went wide. Malpass. Again, he's forced to turn away. Daly. This is the Yugoslav international. That's Cleland. And this is Vitesse. And Lataharu can make a break.
Daly. Came on as a substitute on Saturday and scored a great goal against Motherwell. Away by Strahl. Van den Brom. Nataharu. Jackson. Oh, Daly didn't get the meat to it. into time added on for stoppages now and Dundee United must dearly love to hear the final whistle to bring this torture to a close Conley and then uh, Bremen back to his keeper Vitesse have never won the Dutch League. They've reached the Dutch Cup final three times, losing on each occasion. But on the performance tonight, look aside, good enough to win this UEFA Cup. Lataharu. Tyson, as far forward as we've seen him. Van den Brom. Now, last break perhaps for Dundee United, but there isn't time for that because there's the whistle. What a great performance by Vitesse Arnhem and by this man, number nine, Bert Latuharu, who will surely claim two goals. Vitesse are the last Dutch side in European competition this season, and that's the worst that the Dutch have produced since 1968, but they look a really good side. Number seven, John van den Brom, 24-year-old, has masterminded the midfield. The 20-year-old goalkeeper looked unbeatable, and Dundee United crash out in the worst defeat at Tannadice in their 20 seasons of European competition.